and yeah, tomorrow we're expecting the beginning of our major weather event. If it's still stick, you know, hangs tight, sticks to, sticks to what it's supposed to do. I hope this is one of those times where they actually get the forecast wrong and we get a lot more than the a lot they already expect. Because usually when they expect a lot, we don't get that much. Like if they say, oh, like like a, like a five five six feet over, over over all this, you know, these next few days is possible. Like a once every five year type storm, um, they it would usually end up being like a foot and a half maybe. Um, 2010. June 18th, or I'm sorry, June 18th, that'd be crazy. Um, January 18th to January 22nd, 2010. Up here they got, in some spots, about seven feet of snow. Most of the town got about five feet of snow, five and a half feet. Pretty amazing stuff. Pretty amazing stuff. look really cold out here I'll bet a lot of the lakes frozen now which will be cool but we've had a, a few nights that have been pretty damn cold and it's supposed to continue like that for a few more nights and then we're supposed to go a few days without getting above freezing so that'll be kind of fun I enjoy that If anybody has ever looked up our sister town, Abtenu, A-B-T-E-N-A-U, Austria, not Australia, Austria, dude, it's the most beautiful place I've ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, it really is. Never seen a more beautiful place. If you like beautiful mountains and just lush greenery in, 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 the, in the summertime and, and just gigantic amounts of snow in the wintertime and beautiful ski resorts, then this, this sister town, Abtenu, Austria. Check out pictures of it. It's absolutely amazing. I wouldn't tell you if I didn't really think so. Absolutely beautiful, like, like the most beautiful place. And I'm a lot Austrian also, so that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, around this corner will be Snow Summit. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. And Bear Mountain up here to the top left. Once again, I, I I know any publicity is good public good pu publicity, even bad publicity. But this place, get the burger. If you voted for Donald Trump, I'm telling you, man, they fucking hate you. I used to work for the owner Eric there, and he is the furthest left wing liberal ever, ever, ever. Like he fucking despises you if you voted for Donald Trump. Do not eat there, like. Like just, just don't fucking eat there. That that guy's a fucking joke. And all the food there is frozen food anyway. It's all frozen patties, everything. I used to fucking work there, dude. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not just talking shit because I used to work there. I'm talking shit because the guy is a fucking douchebag. And he, yeah, he's yeah he he hates you if you're a Republican or voted for Trump. So don't don't support some somebody like that. You know, support somebody who's who's open to all ideas from everybody and willing to listen and then shut the fuck up and then listen and then shut the fuck up and then listen. Yeah. And then maybe respond. But anyway, it's beautiful here, man. I love it. I like it a lot.
All right, I'm gonna upload these.